What's going on YouTube? Hope everybody's having a good Friday here today. I have a couple of player props for NFL week 10. Gonna build a little two pick power play on prize picks. Short and sweet today guys. And the first pick of our two pick power play is going to be the over on Justin Fields fantasy score. The ascending young quarterback has been on an absolute sun run and at home against a historically bad Lions defense is not the spot where we're gonna expect him to cool off. 31 fantasy points per game over his last three matchups fields is producing like a high-end quarterback one and he absolutely is that i love this spot for him and yeah you obviously can't expect him to do what he did last week on a weekly basis 178 yards on the ground the most in a regular season game for a quarterback ever but that being said the rushing floor is extremely high nonetheless 76.6 rushing yards on average in the last three games prior to this historic game so you're getting a six to seven point fantasy floor just off rushing you're getting five to six points off the passing yardage alone and really looking for about a touchdown and a half to get there to get 20 fantasy points that's a bet that i'm absolutely willing to make here the bears have the fifth highest implied team total on the slate if you're playing dfs on DraftKings cash games you're locking fields in if you're betting props on prize picks 19 and a half is one of the best on the board in week 10. if you guys enjoy this type of content want to see more prize pick stuff consistently on the channel let us know drop a like and subscribe it helps us out a ton we just crossed 500 subs this week so thank you to everybody who helped us get there and the journey to 600 begins now for part two of our two pick power play today we are going to venture to munich germany where seattle is a two and a half point underdog to the tampa bay bucks which you know frankly makes no sense to me because the bucks are breaking down on both sides of the ball the offense has been lost for weeks and as i'll get to shortly here the rush defense in general has been taking a massive step back and for that reason Kenneth Walker 77 and a half rushing yards looks absolutely phenomenal this week on prize picks this line has been fluctuating a bit it opened at 78 and a half it you know moved down three yards to 75 and a half now it's back up two yards to 77 and a half so still getting a little bit of value on the opening line maybe not as much as there was yesterday but still that being said I think this line in general is just very very good he's a minus 152 favorite to go over 79 and a half rushing yards on pinnacle and this line's only 77 and a half really good spot really good value here Walker's an absolute workhorse and the opportunity is completely bankable rush attempts over the past four games since he became the lead back 23 21 18 and 26 people look at the tampa bay buccaneers and you know think that they have this elite rush defense right that's what they've been known for that's what they've been for a while it's what todd Bowles supposedly brings to the table but the bucks are allowing the 10th most rushing yards per game this season and over the last three weeks it's been even worse than that 157 yards rushing allowed per game sixth most in the league over that span we know what seattle wants to do right they want to focus on kenneth walker he is the engine that makes this offense run tampa bay is dare i say a cupcake matchup at this point maybe not a cupcake matchup maybe that's a bit strong but they are certainly a beatable matchup and certainly one that i am not afraid to attack and that's what i've got for you guys today a nice little two pick power play on prize picks justin fields over 19 and a half fantasy score and kenneth walker over 77 and a half rushing Yards. And that's going to be it for this video. Appreciate you watching. Until next time, stay profitable and have a great day.